morning. This is Dr. Big Harris with News, Sports, and Spine. Uh, I just wanted to share some thoughts I had uh, this morning regarding uh, combat sports and COVID-19. Obviously, with this global pandemic, uh, all the gyms are closed and people are anxious to get back to training. However, um, with combat sports, particularly grappling, you know, the, the risk of uh, transmission is higher than, than other sports. So um, I started looking at the literature to see if there's a little bit of guidance. And honestly, the, the, the literature regarding um, infectious diseases are really focused more along the skin infections versus respiratory infections. However, I did find a particular study that I thought was interesting. Uh, this study was published in 2017. Um, they looked at a couple different things, on, um, um, in particular uh, the mats, uh, mopping technique, and also um, data from uh, a tournament, uh, in which case they, they sampled the bacteria from the mat and also the wrestlers. So I'll just kind of share some of the highlights. So um, hand, hand uh, sanitizer was a, um, a big factor. Um, using hand sanitizer uh, before getting on and off of the mat did help keep uh, the bacterial load pretty low. However, um, of all the body parts, the hands still were kind of, quote unquote, the dirtiest. Uh, they tended to have uh, more bacteria compared to the other areas of the body. Um, so using hand sanitizer was a pretty effective technique. Uh, this paper also looked at mopping technique. So uh, when mopping down the mats, um, um, mopping with a backward technique where you're not actually walking through where you're mopping and using a figure eight shape seemed to decrease the spread of bacteria across the mat. Um, uh, probably the most, the two most interesting things I found uh, were uh, the, the bacteria on the mat. Now the study was looking predominantly on um, bacteria, not necessarily virus, viruses, but, but bacteria on the mat um, and they were looking for things that were expected, um, skin-related um, bacteria um, and some uh, fecal bacteria. That, unfortunately, that's pretty common as well. However, they actually found evidence of respiratory bacteria, so things like Streptococcus and Klebsiella pneumoniae. Um, they were found on the mat, so I think that had direct implications that uh, respiratory droplets and respiratory-based pathogens actually made it onto the mat and were, were detected. It was relatively low low percentage, but it's still there. So I think that does that does definitely play a role. Um, uh, the last thing I'll mention is uh, the type of cleaner. Now a lot of us, you know, will use you know Lysol or you know Mister Clean or um, um, diluted bleach. And this particular study looked at bleach uh, at ten percent, and then compared it to some um, I'll call them you know non-commercial based, almost industrial strength type of cleaners, not the stuff that you would pick up at, at like your grocery store. Um, and the bleach actually was not very effective. Um, it does a good job of clean, of killing the bacteria on the mat in the first two hours, but then after that, the bacteria load started to increase. So I think that that's actually um, something to consider is that when we, when we think of, you know, uh, wrestling mats or jujitsu mats, you know, the bacteria load is relatively low, but it doesn't stay low for forever. What these uh, agents can do is just keep it relatively low. So you try and do that as much as you can and kind of decrease the amount of bacteria. So, you know, bleach is pretty common, but again, after two hours, it started to increase. Some of these other cleaners actually kept the, bac the bacteria loads essentially really, really low, um, uh, pretty close to zero. And this was tested during a live tournament. Uh, where So they tested uh, the... Uh, the bacteria before the tournament and then also after the tournament. So it was a kind of interesting paper. So it's just something to think about as you guys choose your cleaner uh, when cleaning the mat and e maybe even the frequency of how, how often you're cleaning it. Um, you know, just because the, the label says that it kills 99%, it does, but it doesn't always tell you how long it kills it for or keeps the load down. So again, something to think about. Um, anyhow, hopefully um, uh, some of these thoughts will play into how you guys... Uh, um, uh, begin your practice or run your gyms. Um, um, but yeah, I'll try and come out with more information as, um, as hopefully more studies come out. But um, um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care.